Nasa ka, nasa ka. Okay. Hindi nyo magana. Alto yung testing, self. testing. Ina, ini-delete ko lang, sorry. I'll be muting from time to time. Sige, sige. Pero naririnig mo? Naririnig yes, mo? yes, clear. Mag, so mag-start na para maharami konti. Yeah, Next yeah, time. that's fine. Sige, sige. Taka na, yes, mag-start na ata. Um, leb yung name, uh, The Adventure. Ha? Huh? The Adventure. Anong The Adventure? Yun yung session one. Oh, The Adventure. Ano ko palitan yung... Ano ko? Uh, ano ko palitan yun? Okay lang sa, sa, sa upload ko na lang. Ah, yes. Sige, sige. Uh, refresh na lang ulit yung token. My bad. Yeah. Sa, ano yung refresh pa yung... Ni long rest ko lang siya. Ah, sige, sige. Pwede naman ni long rest lang. The Adventure, sabi mo. Okay. G, ready? Ready, boys? Okay, may meet ko lang yeah, yung, go. Yung, yung typing ko. Okay, sige. So, next session, February 4, Saturday. Same thing. Yung parang early, parang ganito. Okay. Yun yung parang ano. So, in two, one, three weeks. Three weeks. Okay. Uh, and then, I think yung ano lang, yung pending lang before. So, yung heroic actions na sinadjust ni Marco na home group. Okay naman siya. Uh, ano lang, ang, ang sinasabi lang doon, like, pag less than 25% yung health mo, pwede ka mag-heroic actions. Pero, in general, like, pwede natin nidagdag na, alam mo yun, like, if, if you find... If you're in a difficult situation, you want to use extra resources to do something out of out of turn or like get an extra reaction, extra spell slots. You know, you can use either inspiration, you can use hit dice, spell slots to try and do something. And then like we can just wing it from there. Parang yun yung sinasabi ni Lab dati yung yung parang isa change sa man yung sa full meta na equivalent exchange. You give up something, maybe you can do something extra. But at the cost. Got it. Right. And then I think that's it. So we're off to start. You've clarified your character creations. All right. Ready. So this is the world map. Mm-hmm. We begin. Um, zoom out, Caleb. Sorry. Am I just 47 HP or? Um, in update ko lang eh. From 55 dapat eh. Yeah, weird. Hold on. Update ko sa, update ko it from the mail. Alright. So. Okay. Zoom out Caleb, so well not. Uh, welcome to the world of Christ. A uh, world full of life, light, magic, and wonder. At its center is the massive continent of Totum, a land bringing with abundance, prosperity, and opportunity. Unfortunately, a darkness encroached the land, bringing with it countless horrors and evils. With that, an eternal battle began between light and dark, salvation and damnation, humanity, and everything that would wish its destruction. For millennia, a great number of races, creatures, and monsters fought for survival. Kingdoms rose and fell endless times, always succumbing to itself or to the monstrosities of the land. In this current age, the age of the fourth dawn, for the first time in centuries, humanity has finally begun to triumph. The society, the peoples of the East uh, created a peace treaty with the Empire, the peoples of the West. Through their combined might and magic, they thwarted the evils of the land and reclaimed light back to the world. All is at peace, or so it seems. Many perils continue to to linger the land, vile creatures are lurking the night 
long eradicated diseases are spreading, untimely deaths are rising, but most distressingly, daylight is fading. Despite these obstacles, the world of Christ moves forward, for this is an age of hardship, pain, suffering, agony, and death. But it is also an age of opportunity, joy, pride, hope, and dreams. Most importantly, this is the perfect age for adventure. We return to one such adventure, or rather the adventure, for it is the adventure that brings together the greatest heroes of this land, of this age. Sorry. As we come back to you guys, as we revisit our ending from um, session zero, uh, would you just try and re in reintroduce and re-describe yourselves as you guys have updated uh, kind of your appearances, your origins, and everything else? Uh, we can begin with Kai. Hello, hello. Unmuting. Okay, so character change. <laughs> um, you see before you a human male, um, dark, dark haired, cloth in like chain, chain mail armor, uh, wearing like a shield and a battle axe. Uh, he's like around six feet tall, uh, fairly built. Um, on it, like bearded and has long hair. Um, he, I forgot who killed the dragon. I think it was. Uh, it was very. Right? Mm -hmm. So I think he was just like, at the end of the last instance, I was just trying to kick, make sure that the dragon was still, mm -hmm. was like definitely dead. <laughs> and I motioned to, the creature here. Good job. On slaying this dragon, and then I very, shield my weapon. And very, would you like to re-describe your character and your name? Oh, and I mentioned my name is Kai. Kung di ka masalita, Jin, gusto mo skip talo mo na. Ano mo na kiti? Gumagalaw naman yung mic. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go ahead, go ahead, go go. So just re-describe your character. Yeah. So we refreshed. Oh yeah, yeah. I uh, blew into my crossbow tip, and then I holster it. <laughs> um. And then I <clears throat> hit my uh. I think on the fumble of the battle, I uh, my hood came down. As you uh, you can see, there's a like braided dreadlock um. Uh, mohawk dreadlocked uh, like afro guy a, a person with some insectoid qualities that uh, is, um, <clears throat> uh, like a hybrid a mix of both uh, he's trying to hide uh, his uh, horns or antennae and some hard uh, Hmm, how would you say that mandibles uh, uh yeah man, uh, like a mandible or claw sticking out of his uh chin um uh, hiding from his uh, in his beard um overall he's just uh sporting a leather uh jacket uh appears to have um to be humanoid in stature about average size uh pretty much um uh aloof that's it. And then alongside you, you see uh, Borsh. Describe yourself. So I stand. <clears throat> so I'm all muddied when I fell. Stand up, dust myself. I'm not. I'm Borsh. Uh, you can see the spectacled, fairly well dressed, uh, I guess, adventure. Uh, he. he he, there's a air of arrogance around him. He, and much like the portrait, uh, he he's half orc. Uh, he doesn't hide his features of being a half orc. Uh, he has a nice uh, he, he has cloak and robes, but 
they don't seem well they're not very dirty they they seem like they're very pristine he keeps it very clean and uh uh he says well well good job uh saving us uh, get getting that green dragon i i i tell very i'm like you guys out for this hunt too i return with the nut Hmm. I, I nod as well. Run. Mm-hmm. And as you guys are talking about this, you just recall basically that the bounty board from the outpost um, that was saying, for, uh, that was uh, talking about this hunt, it was just mentioning a lizard, a fixed bounty, and then to just bring like a, some, some sort of proof back to the outpost to see that the, um, the menace was disposed of. Uh, looks like we need a scale or anything. And then I walk to my skeletons like, oh man, I just spent all night fixing these guys up. And then can, can I, uh, I co- collect go and go the and... remains oh, in a yeah. bag? Yeah, I assume you have like some sort of carrying thing to always bring them if mm-hmm. if they get disposed or to hide them, mm-hmm. you know, during regular conversation. Mm-hmm. And I'm caught a bit too big. Oh, okay. Um yeah, so you if you guys wanna take something from from the dragon. I am carving stuff from the dragon. Just me I believe it should be survival. Same. Um you survival. can do survival. Uh, survival. survival, survival. Or medication. Um uh, fourteen. I- I have medicine. Can I use that? Uh, yeah. Like, uh... uh I'm gonna survive. I'm gonna survive. Oops, never mind. All right. You're kind of flum- st- flummoxed from... I, st- I stabbed myself. Ugh. Um... I tried to focus on the teeth and the claws. Mm-hmm. Um, you're able to extract, like, about... Just roll a D- D6. Um, so, so you get you, you said teeth you were able to get teeth uh, teeth and claws no. ideally uh, yeah just like uh, another D D4 for the claws and then wait so uh, so three claws six six teeth and then whatever uh, Very was trying to get, uh, I think he was gonna try to get scales or something. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh huh. You're able to get. You can just roll like a D six. That's a D ten. Uh, and then Borsh, what were you, what were you trying to do? Uh. I just need a, any proof, like very, mm-hmm. you know, like a scale. Or... I think like with, with all the stuff you were able to get. Uh, I said, I'll, I'll leave you to it because I rolled the one. <laughs> yeah. And, uh... mm-hmm. So that should be enough for, you know, just the regular bounty board. Okay. Uh, yeah. So I rolled a 14 for my, mm-hmm. s- just a scales. Yeah. So okay. just roll a deep for like how many scales. Ah, D10, sorry. Ah, okay, D10. 10. Roll. Ah, that's a 6. Okay, so just add that and then we'll just clarify it later. Okay. So I'll right. 6 scales on, yeah? Uh, green dragon scales, yeah. Green dragon scales. I look at Barry. You're a strange one. I've never seen your kind before. Ah... I'm not really keen of getting into it, but maybe after a while, if you prove uh, trustworthy, I can tell you what I am or how I differ. Oh, to each his own. Uh, DM, can I roll medicine? Figure out what he is. Yeah. One more. 
I would say this is DC 2030. <laughs> <laughs> I am horrible. Get the, get like, the bad um, rolls I, now. I am perplexed. Uh-huh. <laughs> Not your day. Um, so you guys finish collecting. You guys, this is enough for you to go back and like prove your um, your hunt is finished. Do you proceed back to the outpost? Or do you want to do anything else? I tried to recall. It, it's just one green dragon, right? Yeah. Uh, like, it, was, it, didn't say, it didn't specify a dragon. It was just saying a big lizard in the forest. Can I check if the dragon has a lair? Um, you. This is a like a youngling, like a like between wormling and like youngling dragon. That it it's it's just starting out, and it sh- it wouldn't have. Like a layer on its own yet. Gotcha. Right, um, I'm a bit spent. I'm, I'm heading back to the outpost. Mm-hmm. If anyone wants to join me. Where's. I know where oh. north is. This is north. Where is the outpost? <laughs> um, it is. Yeah, it is right. a little bit north because this what the hunt was on the south. So you guys proceed back mm-hmm. to the outpost? I. I motion to the insect. You, do you need? Yeah. Do you need a top up? You seem injured from this encounter. <laughs> um, I'll sort myself out. Thanks. Very well. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys go through and make your way back. I want across. blood off my mouth. <laughs> 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 I can lay on hands on the old body. I on it. Yeah, yeah. He's strong, independent. It, it, that's <laughs> my uh, my flaw, I guess. Too um, so it's about a couple hours journey, but nothing too crazy happens. Uh, you proceed back to the desert outpost where um, it's basically. So just I guess just go back going back to the world map so you have an idea. Oops, let me just turn everything off. Sorry. There we go. So you the dragon there was around here. You see the marking? Mr. Atlas was around here. You're around the west side of the waste. Um can I update your actual word map but like the Cyprian Empire should be around up until here. The waste is just here. Wow. Oh. They're annexing regions. <laughs> Basically. Uh I update them. Here up the update no one. And then this is the society no, this is the emperor. Oh neat. Just, uh, just to have an idea. So um yung, yeah. The the location of the lair was around here, and then you're proceeding north from here. So you're in the wastes area. All right. All right. So you go yeah. back. Um, it's basically a pretty barren, not barren. It was just a, it's not, it's not a big outpost. It's like, it's proceeding into the wastes. Resources are hard. Water is hard to come by. So any kind of, um, particular area where there's, if you can settle, it's safe. It's considered valuable. So there's a big well in the middle. And this is, uh, kind of like the bounty area, the bounty board where you see, uh, a, a familiar face for all of you, um, a red-haired, uh, dark-skinned female that tinkering with a lot of stuff. Um, Gilly Fenwick, your handler, uh, bounty hunt, the bounty board coordinator here, as well as the tavern innkeeper for this desert outpost. Uh, and she's tinkering with her stuff uh, with like sort of like a monocle uh tinkering with a lot of gadgets and other paraphernalia mm. Mm. i move over and let de- dealt with your uh 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 with your with your issue there i have i saw these two definitely were a big help mm-hmm. and she looks up and you can see there's a big smile on her face, an instant hint of recognition. You've dealt with her multiple times. Individually, you've all dealt with her separately, but this is the first time 
you've gotten together and actually uh, come together uh, uh, with uh, you, you uh, first time basically you're all together coming to her and she's bright and jolly big smile on her face and she says well well Mr. Borsch fancy you come in here with very and Kai interesting interesting circumstance indeed so how fair is the bounty what bounty are you delivering this time around i flick her one of the dragon teeth <laughs> and she catches it there she looks at it with her one of all intuitively and she says i am a young dragon interesting interesting well, the unfortunately, whoever posted the bounty specified a giant lizard. Sorry for an extra trouble for you guys, but I'm pretty sure you'll be able to handle it, given that you three are pretty capable. Interesting group, interesting group. And well, well, she starts keep her, to... if you don't, uh, I, mm -hmm. I will probably sleep. I need some rest mm -hmm. after that. Mm -hmm. Good, good. There's a lot of. There's one more table inside the inn. I'll, I'll bring your um or bring your gold inside so you can just hover ahead. Um, give me a few minutes. I'll gather the reward and just pardon the noise as she says. There's a little bit of a ruckus going inside, but um, we'll manage and we should have enough space for you as well. And she motions you towards the inn, which is like right behind, you know, these the front end of uh, the bounty board as you all proceed to the empire's end uh this is the tavern slash in of uh the desert outpost uh, as you go in there's an empty table that's this is the last table that's available so you can see it for all three uh all three of you you notice there's two um like in service that are going around Fire Janazi male and a small, a no um, red haired girl, uh, particularly very busy uh, on the other table. As you see, there's a dragon board that's kind of like interacting with a rowdy group um, of five, uh, and they're very loud, they're very joyous, it looks like they're celebrating. Mm. Um, as you all take a seat. Uh, my, I treat you guys for a drink. Looks like there's only one table open. And you are gentlemen, right? And I sit down. I flop down. Gilly comes back from the front. She brings off uh, a small handful. And then she says, um, as per the agreement, it's 100 gold pieces to whoever uh, finishes the bounty. She pops it in the middle. I, I look, I look around. I look at the two. It was a concerted effort, is that correct? I nod. Agreed. Agreed. And there's only three of us. Uh, it, I don't know. It, it's probably right that uh, the one who hunted gets the most gold. So. I said, I'll get 30, and I grab 30, and I start reaching. And then I got 30, and I think it's fair for our uh, other gentleman looking at Barry to get the 40. I nod. Uh, and then Very well. I, I grunt, but you have my gratitude. Well, as you folks start to divvy up whatever you guys want, um, I'll make sure Selfie and Asmo get you a round of drinks and some food, okay? We'll make sure to... Are you going to be staying at the inn as well? Yes, yes, yes please, with the best accommodation yeah. you have. I believe we only have one room left, unfortunately. Um, if you don't mind, I don't know if you all mind sharing a room um kind of preoccupied because of the other group she motions a little bit annoyingly to the other group it's just still very ruckus very um 
very loud. Other bounty hunters? Um, yeah. Looks like it, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, so I'll, I'll reserve that room for you. And then she leaves. And then uh, she bumps into this dragonborn, and they seem to talk. Uh, if you guys want to do a perception check or an insight check. Oh. Perception. Bad roll. These drop off your uh, your drinks and your uh, plates, and then they just go around and are preoccupied with the other group. Perception. No one. No one. Lovely. Yeah. And... Uh, no, good. Uh, I, I got a 15 total, sorry. Oh, okay. You notice uh, Gilly motioning to you guys uh, as, as she's talking to this kind of like golden dragonborn over here that's kind of like looking fairly frustrated with this group. As Gilly goes out um, outside to the front of the outpost, uh, this golden dragonborn appears to come over you guys uh, and approach you. Uh, and uh, he introduces himself and he says, oh, my, my, uh, greetings, adventuring group. Uh, Gilly told me you're a very able-bodied group of uh, bounty hunters, and I am in a sort of predicament today. It's better be worth it. And then I put out my bandages and I start... <laughs> <laughs> doing ah, my well, like said, injuries. Uh, while there is a sense of urgency here, like it can wait until tomorrow once you're here, but I definitely would need some help because um, the fearsome five over there kind of like screwed me over, I think, as he motions to the raucous group here that are still okay. lollygagging. Oh, I, and I don't want to impose or anything. It's uh, We're not necessarily a group. We just this is the only table and we just met and, and you know i mean well, gilly but, was saying otherwise but i believe you guys uh, mm -hmm. gilly when i was talking to gilly he she was mentioning that you seemed like a, a cantankerous group that could be reliable i mean then i look at kai what do you think uh what do you think good sir should we Listen to this. Is this a is it a dragonborn? A dragonborn, yeah. He looks like uh he's like he has spectacles. He's like medium height, prob but still smaller than you two, than you and uh you and Bo you and Kai. Um a little bit hunched over. He looks like uh, he has a lot of books on him. Looks kind of like a researcher type of guy. And then he says Um, as an act of uh, goodwill to start to start, he uh puts uh, gets some gold from his pocket and then he puts it around. Um, I offer you 50 gold pieces each uh, just to listen and maybe consider uh, and hopefully, you know, a down payment of whatever services I require. I make a face. Look at the two. I don't know how to read very. If you guys want to do insight. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I'll do insight. I am not. I like money. I'm like, I will listen. Then I grab, <laughs> you take I it. Ah. You grab 50 gold. Okay. 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 I got one of you. And the others? Mm. I'm a bit. He's, he's, very, he's looking like he's very sincere and honest. And he's really just troubled because of whatever agreement he had, disagreement he had with the other. As I, as I got the 50 gold. And yes, we are an adventuring group. <laughs> perfect, perfect. Oh, okay. I grunt. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, now, my uh, name is... Go uh, ahead, Lloyd. Uh, I'll just say at least we should at least just listen to him, to what he has to say. And then he sits down. Thank you, thank you. My name is Dr. Dulut. And um, I am a anthropologist, you could say. Um, I like to research a lot of different creatures uh, and a lot of uh, different biomes. Uh, and I like to collect samples. Um, I was working with my assistant Gilforth and 
we came upon uh, his assistant is built for it. We came upon a very interesting, um, shall I say, specimen in the swamps area uh, near here, about half a day's travel here. Um, I did um, get the help of the adventuring group. Um, no, not yet. He's like an independent researcher. It's not published yet. Um, I got the Fearsome Five uh, as part of I got them to sign a contract to uh, procure and get a specimen uh, from this creature that I was interested in. Um, but they could only capture one of its pawn, uh, one of its, I guess, broodlings. Um, they did guarantee me, however, that the creature is dead. However, I'm not too entirely sure of their honesty. Uh, and given their rambunctious nature, I do not believe uh, all of that they're said. They're a very proud bunch and uh, not reliable. Very able-bodied, but not reliable. What did they get? What did they got? Um, uh, a spawn. A spawn, you said? Uh -huh. Like a broodling oh, of a the creature. Broodling. So kind of like, a, you know, a small. Um, and I, uh, I would very much like to be able to get a specific sample from this creature uh, and if able i would like to figure out what happened to my assistant as well he's he's he can take care of himself but he can be a little bit fragile so uh what is the, this creature you're looking for um it is a, a very big uh spider a brood mother probably Oh, I look at uh, I look at very. I hope there's no arachnophobic here in this table. One of your friends, perhaps. <laughs> no, uh, not likely. Mm -hmm. But that is that is my predicament that I would very much like to have you help me gather this sample. You want it alive? Ah, uh, no, not necessarily. Not necessarily. Uh, for I just need uh some sort of a sample uh, before before it perishes or as soon as it perishes uh, and then we could able I could study that and add it to my research and collection how much how much are you willing to pay for this 500 gold pieces each and whatever you loot or find there is not of my concern I'm merely interested in for my studies, and an extra 200 gold each if you're able to retrieve uh, my assistant alive. May the light bless him. May the light bless him. Uh, it's not like a 500 gold each and mm -hmm. then 200, 200 each. each. 200 extra each, each extra if assistant Guilford is alive. <laughs> Then I, I, I think for a bit. Can I persuade him for more? Uh, you can, you can try. And he looks around kind of like, um, based on the conversation, you look like this is kind of like as much as he can give. Considering the fact he already gave 50 to start. Oh yeah, he, how, he did give us 50 each. How dangerous is this hunt? It seems like a lot of money. Nothing, uh, but, well, I certainly am not the most able-bodied person in terms of these kinds of hunts, but Gilly was saying that she believes that your uh, prowess, all three of you, should be more than enough um, for this task that I have at hand. And honestly, this is coming from her, not me. She says, you can beat those five up, no problem. I measured So if they can manage it, I'm fairly certain your capabilities are a lot better as well. 
How did they screw you over? I did ask for a specimen, but they completely forgot about it. And now while they do have this broodling spawn or whatever, they do not want to let it go. And you see them like playing around with like a small cage that's covered and they're kind of like jostling it around, like, uh, you know, splashing it with some alcohol. Um, they say that's their pet, that they do not want to get rid of it. So I am stuck in a predicament. While my initial um, contract with them did specify to uh, dispose of the brood mother, um, I did specify there that, you know, bring me a specimen, but, but they, they are honestly idiots and forgot that that was the second part of the agreement. So I gave them half. Oh. Uh, that's what you get for hiring not quality adventurers. And and I said, what, what, uh, what do you think, gents? Should we try to look for this thing? Good money. This five you're talking about, um, is uh, are they also regular in the? Um, you've seen them around here, and they're always in a group. Um, you've heard their names. There's a giant, um, sort of like magician, fumble bore. There's a, uh, a small halfling, kind of like roguish, uh, garrote. Um, there's like this elvish, like um, kind of like cleric, like magician, Chris. There's this little... Uh, gnome that's very loud, Sir Lots a little, and then there's their uh, annoying and rowdy board of phonics. I think we got ample information. I present. Uh, mm -hmm. Do I remember this on the top of my head, or? Um, you've seen like I would say you've all seen them before. Oh, you've we all, all spent we all, time we, we there, all so, know. Okay. so you all know of them, um, and and their reputation. Um, they're approachable. It's not like they're, um, but they're just kind of dicks, you know. And yeah. Okay. I agree with. <laughs> I look at Doctor Duluth. That fumble more. Oh, I hate that one. He annoys me. <laughs> oh, he's not the most smartest, but I think their entire group is. But right. uh, if if you are. If you agree to this, then that would very much please me. Uh, we can start first thing in the morning. Uh, not, we don't have to leave early. We all need a good night's rest, considering um, your, and he looks over you guys, you know, your current state. Um, however, if you want to um, ask the fearsome side some questions, I would think that they, giving their, uh, their jubilations, I would assume they would uh, answer any of your questions. Um, but do we have a deal then, gentlemen? Works for me, if these two are in it. Perfect, perfect. And he slams the table slightly. Um, and then he said, um, Asmo, selfie, another round of drinks for this gentleman. Okay? And then he addresses you again. I'll see you tomorrow. Um, I will make some preparations. Uh, and until then, Oh, you're coming with us? Oh, yes. But this I time, I, I would prefer to have an actual look at this broodmother and actually be able to get the specimen. Again, while I agree with Gilly's assessment that you three are more than capable, this time, it is it also probably my fault as well. That I should have come with this idiot files. Uh, but if you don't mind that being part of the agreement, Uh, works for me. Uh, I stretch as I lie down. Uh. Then I will see you in the morning, gentlemen. And he steps off. He, he tells them to buy you some extra food, extra drinks, and he goes off. I mumble as he leaves. As long as keeping him alive is not part of the contract. He seems like he's more than capable. I didn't want yeah, to have a conversation, but uh, I guess we're 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 we three are in it. Oh, I'm sorry, you were saying something, Barry? Oh no, I'm just meaning to say we need to teach him how professionals do it. That's and, it. 
Mm -hmm. Then so I if he gives you around, another round of drinks, and here you go, gentlemen. Drinks on the house. Um, in stay for the night is paid for by Dr. Deluz as well. You'll be sharing the big room upstairs together, okay? Ano siya? Elf ba to? Ano siya? Uh, I would call this you know, halfling. Okay. I said, uh, so what brings you to, to uh, this part of the world, this remote wastes of the, are we in the empire? Should I say empire? Uh, uh, of the, still part of the empire. Yeah. So what brings you guys to the, this uh, part of the empire? I, I tell them doing some bounty hunting in the name of Pelor. Pelor is the god of life. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, a holy man. Mm -hmm. I'm here Obviously. to. Obviously. Uh, I'm here to uh, gather some knowledge, uh, and for my for my school work, for my university school work. And I'm just trying to get by. Work with me. Uh, so you guys are talking. Gentlemen, I'm, I'm going upstairs to get some rest. Uh, as you guys uh, are finishing up, the fearsome five get louder, start pointing at you, start like, um, you know, sloshing their drinks towards you and kind of like laughing at you. I hate that guy. I just look at uh, Fumble. <laughs> he seems like old fish and like kind of like trying to figure out what he's trying to do with his drinks. He's like not the most nimble. Um, you can make another perception check or insight. Can I cast Mage Hand? Um, you can cast it. Uh, they'll see it. Uh, if you're trying to... Mm -hmm. Uh, what are you trying to do with the mage hand? If you're trying to get something on their side, then that's that's a sleight of hand. Casting okay. the mage hand is fine. Tipping over the the cage. If you intentionally want to do it, uh, yeah. they'll know it. You don't have to roll anything. It's just it's just gonna appear there. And that's what you're trying to do. But they'll see that it's you. Can I cast a message on Kai? Mm -hmm. Oh, you can just whisper. Like it's not like uh, they can read. Hey, They're far enough that they won't uh, hear you. I, I look at the two and like those idiots are laughing at us. Are we just gonna take it? What do you think? I draw a uh, dagger, slam it on the table. <laughs> <laughs> They they uh, they all look at you directly, uh, uh, very, and they, you know, give you the stink eye. Um, this uh, this halfling, this uh, garot, like he steps forward, and he sizes you up. He's standing, but like as you're sitting down, he's still smaller than you while you're sitting down, and he's like flickering his knife, and then he says. Well, aren't you a pretty one, huh? Think you're all high and mighty? As he like twirls his his blade through his fingers, kind of like playing around with it. All of them are looking over where Garot is. Um, Borch, if you want to tip over there. They have like a small cage. Kind of like looks like a lantern. Size a little bit bigger. It's on the table. It's like behind them as they all kind of like walk towards a little bit, towards where Garolt is. Are we doing this now? <laughs> I mean, those idiots are not worth it, but uh, they seem to be insulting us. I don't take insults lightly. Uh, <laughs> I agree with you there. These two start to kind of like inch forward, just trying to See and like trying to de-escalate things, but they're still looking at what's happening. Uh, make a perception check, everyone. 
dirty 20. Okay. You notice uh, Garot as he's like flickering his fingers, he keeps like scratching his hand and there's sort of like a like some yellow boils on his like upper shoulder, like not shoulder, upper arm. It's kind of like just by his sleeves. Uh, but because of the way he's like moving around and like flicking his fingers, um, you can see that there's like big balls. There's very dry skin. Ooh. And then I look at it like, and I get, get ghost out like, I don't know about that. I don't, I, I'm probably not. And then I, I look at girl, you should probably get that checked. And then he looks at you, oh, this? I got this from from that recent job kind of annoying but it's nothing some old rubbing lotion and cream would fix but it's none of your concern doofus i'm uh i'm kind of a physician myself i that uh mm -hmm. that could be contagious uh <laughs> then i start back i'm like mm, i don't know about this one gents and then i look at kai i'm like i don't know what do you think about that? I say, do you need medical attention? Okay. Nothing. I don't need help from any of you. We're here celebrating. It's the fearsome five. Do it again. And then he says cheers. And he walks back to his companions. Then I, 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 take, I, I try to get Kelsey's attention or Asmo, mm -hmm. whoever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. yeah, yes. Okay. I don't know. Do you, do you guys just let deceased travel walk in here? Deceased travel. I mean, they pay good money and like regular customers. Like it's Gilly told tells us <laughs> to just accommodate them and like as long as they don't break stuff. I mean, they've already broken stuff before, but Gilly has their number and like they're they'll never cross Gilly. They'll never go that far, you know. Does Gilly know? They got all these boils. Is it just him? How about it's the just, others? It's, Do I um, give me one second. Dun, dun, dun. It's kind of like the other people were hard, were far, were far. I'm just grossed out. Dirty yeah. twenty, the bad dirty twenty. Yeah. I would say, um, very noticed. Capophonics has some by his wrist, mm. so a smaller part, smaller boil. Yeah. I, po I pointed out to Borsh, that other guy has the same thing growing on his arm. And I point Ooh. to mm -hmm. I nudge to Cacophonics. Mm. Like, ugh. I mean, we might have bit enough more than we can chew. Right. I understand. Need more preparation. I hide my blade. Mm hmm. I finish my uh, drink. Not here, then. Not not uh, here. I mean, it. If they're not careful, they're. This might be their last drink. <laughs> and uh, ominously, they still keep drinking and like, keep celebrating. Um. Yeah. So, do you guys head out? Do you guys go to your room? Try to get a rest. Uh, how I mean, how, how um, I, I, I guess we can just rest for the night. See what this job entails. So Is that where I can prepare spells? Yeah, you can prepare spells. Uh, you can change, you know, change spells. Uh, swap out spells, etc. Um, so as you begin, you know, you go you go to this like small room. It's like decently sized. It can like fit all three of you, um, just enough. But you're basically just sharing spaces. Um, do you have anything to discuss or anything before you proceed the night? Before resting? Mm. All right. Mm. And then oh, like, I stand up, I limp, I try to hide it. I think I'm joining Guy. Uh, uh, uh. 
Do you need assistance? <laughs> I'm good. I uh, hold out my hand. I'm good. <laughs> as uh, as you guys go exit, you go get some rest. Um, all right. So you know, Borsh is preparing his spells. You guys are just proceeding to rest. Um, as you guys are sleeping, uh, you notice. Just for the first time, I guess, in a long while, in this long trouble. Oh, from... I will, uh, actually, when, uh, when we're about to sleep, I will sleep outside the door. Sleep outside the door? Or, like, by the door, like, a suck corner. Uh-huh. Like, uh, like, as a lookout? No, just a suck corner, suck corner lang. Suck corner lang. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, okay. As you guys are starting to rest, um, and as you're beginning to fall asleep, uh, very, you don't need to sleep, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you, you close your eyes or like, what do you do? You just need, you just can't be doing strenuous activity mm-hmm. while you're yeah, resting. Yeah, yeah. I just, uh, um, we'll do like a meditation, okay. uh, Indian sit. Yeah. Got it, got it. Okay. Um, so as you I guys deep. are resting, you just notice like a sense of like peace and like, just for the first time in a long while, you're, this this rest uh, for each of you has a brings about a little bit of like extra peace. Like this is the best sleep you've had in a while, uh, and that's kind of it. And then you guys, you know, go get your, go get your long rest. We open to the next day, um, and then Doctor Dulutz meets you at the front of the tavern. Inside the tavern, you're having breakfast. Um, the fearsome five is not there anymore. Uh, and he says, oh, "Are you all ready, adventurers?" Mm, better. Great, great, great. Um, uh, it's going to be about half a day's journey uh, to the southeast. Uh, but we should be able to get there just in a regular pace. Nothing too concerning, and nothing too strenuous. Um, I have made arrangements. Uh, we have extra packages and rations available, extra water. So we should be all set. I have it in my backpack. Uh, shall we proceed? Lead the way, doctor. Right. As you all go, proceed. Uh, you uh, you leave the tavern. Gilly says, "Good luck, gentlemen. I'm sure you'll do well." As uh, Gilly, you know, says uh, says hi- goodbye one last time. Good luck on the job, she says. And she's still tinkering with some of her stuff. Uh, you begin to journey southeast uh, towards deeper, a little bit deeper into the waste, uh, but into by the coast where there's still like some forest and like swamps areas. Um, and as you proceed through a couple hours, but they said a lot. Is there a potion or no. spells perhaps? Um, you each have two healing potions, I would say, based from your journeys, you're all level five. Mm-hmm. Um, would you, sorry, uh, let's put, very let's give it very long. Mag long rest ka sa sa D and D beyond uh Jake. I did it. Okay, nina uh, update ko lang si Ah. Um. Okay. Do that. Oh. In terms of your minions, Borsh, is it something mm-hmm. you openly do to other people, like in front of other people? Is it something? I, I would say these, that. Yeah, obviously these two know about it already, but like. Oh, I I look at Kai. I'm like, I hope it doesn't offend you. I, I can only get one at a time, though. So I, I can get Mo. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we'll just leave them here for now. Yeah. Uh, like you can only summon one at a time. One, one at a time. I mean, I need what long rests. Yeah. Uh huh. Like a oh, full... so like got it, got it. Mm-hmm. Because uh, I have to and, cast it, I have to exert control. So I would say one at a time, unless you know, so they don't die. 
yung, and then um, would you be openly doing it in front of like Dr. Deluz is like the, the main question. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I mean, we're in the wastes. I'm, yeah. I'm like... And he notices and he says, oh, interesting choice of magics there, uh, Mr. Uh, I'm sorry, I forgot your names again. Mr. Uh... Uh, Borsh. Borsh Longfang of the Longfangs. Yeah. Ah, member of the empire, I see, I see. Um, and um, you are Mr. Very. Very. Very mysterious indeed. All right, all right. And then you are uh, Mr. I say Kyle Lore, and then I show him my shield with the symbol of the okay. uh, man of uh, Man of the light. Feel safe here, I feel safe. Well, anyway, as we proceed... Um, Based from my directions and from what the Ferris and Five told me, um, the lair of the Broodmother shouldn't be too far from here. It's uh, probably a couple hundred feet away. However, the the swamp thickens, the brushes, um, the underbrush are very thick and might, pre uh, might prevent uh, visibility and, uh, and movement. Um, be careful, though, in the water as it can get deep at times. It's about uh, like ankle, ankle to knee high. The water as you're trudging, it's not it's not difficult terrain yet. Uh, but from what he's saying, like he's saying that difficult terrain can be uh, can occur the deeper you go through the layer. I have Mo carry my bags, <laughs> and he just. Follows you around. So water, though. Don't. Ah, yeah, kind of like swamp, swamp, you know, swamp. swamp. And then uh, this is land. Grass, this is land. Grass, land. Land, grass. This is land and like grassy and moss. This is like swampy terrain. Oof. I said the sooner I can get out of this water, the better. It's not probably not good for my boots. Not the most ideal circumstances for everyone, but uh, this is how it is. As Come on, Mo, follow me. That's my command. So what's, what's your marching order? Who's going to be go, going first? Who's scouting? I will lead the way. I will be mm -hmm. in the middle, perhaps, or the back. Mm -hmm. so I will follow. You, know, you, don't, yeah, you don't notice anything within your, per, you know, within your vision. Um, there's like some pockets of like light coming from like the puddles of water, like some reflections from the moonlight. Um, the canopy at, above you, though, it's starting to close. It's like you know the trees and like the the branches are kind of like they're all shackling together to create like a web, a big dome. So that's why there's like um, you don't see any birds from from the from the vista up top. It's about you know 20, 25 feet high, and it's like the underbrush is covering everything. Oh, okay. so you can proceed Dur forward. During our trip, can I ask Doctor Dulutz? You said Doctor Dulutz. Is it like medical doctor or doctor of philosophy or? Um, uh, merely just like an anthropologist. Like I do research on various creatures. I, I do not practice medicine per se. I do not practice any of the magics of the east of the west. Um, not really of the divine magic of the west, of the east. Oh, sorry, divine magic. Is, uh, divine magic. Oh, I'm is... an, an educated doctor. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Um, magic, yes. Yeah. Simo, Simo, <laughs> yeah, yes, yes. I'm basically a, an independent researcher, uh, which it's hard in these trying times but somebody has to do it you know somebody has to archive all this information has to go somewhere don't divide magic is arcane magic was then your specialty nila then i use union oh basically uh base the base of the and you would know this as pal a paladin of the light the base of the you know of the worshippers of the light is on the east side that's why they have practitioners of divine magic, like paladins, clerics, and all that stuff. Whereas in the empire on the west, where Borsh comes from, is the practitioners of arcane magic. I'm 
Ano yung opposite ng empire? Uh, society. The DM, do you want me to use the all three? Like, I can just say na I had enough time to... Which one? Yung undead. Um, hindi ko kabisade. Like, is it, um, like, how long? Is it a spell slot each? Or... Spell slot each body, but I... Uh, I can use the spell to exert control on over four. Uh, I would say like they should be all be available, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, should, so, should be a concern. Okay. Okay, okay. So marching order would be Kai. You guys could proceed through the map. You can just go forward. You don't see anything. There's no like there's no obvious traps that you can see. Um there's like some you hear some, you know, some cicadas, some birds, some chirpings in the forest. Um, nothing, obviously, uh, that you can see. No, but there's no like fish or anything. It's like very shallow water for fish to be. Um, Come on, yeah, Molari, Molari and Joe, let's go. All right. May kaya mo ba? Like na nagagalaw mo ba sila? No. I think. Sorry. I think I gave them. Uh, is the uh, doctor Dulut coming with us? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna put him in my field of vision. He's in between uh Borsh and Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Good. Uh, okay, okay. Uh interesting biome. He seems like top to himself. Uh, and this you can just proceed. Sun. Yeah, because like there's no, it's it's cover. Like uh, you're in, like mid afternoon. You don't have dark vision, so I think that's why. And there's only like pockets of light emanating from like the reflections on the water. Sounds it's good. very it's muddy, like... you know, the air is cool and clammy. You can smell like some sort of like moss and like parang lensa that's starting to form. Ooh. I never thought adventuring would be so unpleasant sometimes. <laughs> they never tell this in the stories. You'll get used to it. <clears throat> Are, are are my undead uneasy with the with the paladin of Pelor? I'm sure. Yeah, I mean they're undead. All right. They, I don't think they <laughs> <laughs> they fear nothing. <laughs> mm-hmm. I mean it's undead. I mean, do I know that he'll get offended or something? Um, no. Um, it depends on Kai, honestly. Like most of, I said, most of the followers of the light. Some are sticklers. It's like a toss-up. Mm-hmm. That's it. Oops, sorry. Do I do I sense that Kai's offended or like pissed? It's up to it's up to Kai. Oops, sorry. I missed that. One second. Please. You would sense that I, I like um I'm like fine with it. Like I'm like oh there's like skeletons. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> and I tell him like eh, there's a reason I, I, I like you already. Uh as you proceed uh from the corner of your vision you see but like two resting crocodiles like by the bog over here. Um However, you see this like floating, not floating creature. It's like one is this kind of like tentacly uh, brutally that's like lying on top of the other crocodile. And you notice that the crocodile actually has the same boils that Cacophony and uh, Garot had. It's on the back of the crocodile. And as you're making your way, can you make a stealth check, Kai? (laughs) (laughs) 
ったから。ディスアドバンテージ。Looks like it doesn't notice you.、Yeah. Same,、um, same boils as.、Mm, same boils.、Yeah. Um, they're both resting, but like they can, they don't notice you, but then these two seem to like look over your direction. This one doesn't. They're like, they're equidistant. But this one, this one doesn't have boils. It's just like a regular crocodile. This one does. And the brooding is on top of it, but they both kind of like stare in your direction. And I tell it, Dr. Duluth, do you think it's nearby already? I'm pretty sure it might be a little bit too deep, or this just might just be the stragglers of the lair. I motioned to them about the boils on the crocodile. There seems to be some boils with the. Oh, I took my picture, brother. Oh, oh nice.、Ooh. Oh, it is disturbing.、Mm -hmm. <laughs> And、uh, wait, Jung, where, where is the floating creature? It's with the it's boils. It's on top of it, yeah. This is how it looks like. Great. <laughs> We, we, want, we might be close. Can I cast Mage Armor?、Uh, Mage Armor, I think. Yeah, you can. Is that how long does it last? But you can eight, cast it. Eight hours. Yeah, you can cast it. It's it, different from Shield, you know? Oh, I wish it from Shield. Yeah. 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 I mean, cast it as you, you cast it. Do I.、Uh... Oh, I noticed that they noticed me, right? They just looked in your direction. But it's just the, the brooding and the one that has the boils. I, I asked them, are we eliminating,、uh, eliminating these creatures now? What do you think, doctor? <laughs> I, go, yeah, I、uh, refer to Dr. Dunitz. These are just obstacles in our way.、Um, if, if, they, if they prevent the, the path forward, then、uh, yeah, be my guest. And he's just like jotting down notes, and he's like, it's like he's sketching, he's sketching the, the boils in the crocodile. Unfortunately, we could not study the brutally in advance. Are you fellows ready? We can attack them from afar if you guys want. Way ahead of you. <laughs> I'm aiming at one uh, <laughs> uh, with my crossbow already. Hold on,、uh, hold on. I'll, I'll, cast, I'll cast something else. <laughs> yeah, I was like. <laughs> <laughs> so I draw back my crossbow.、Um, what? Do we count on three? On the count、okay. of three or after three? Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, temp. I'll put five temp. Can I? Five temp HP, say no? Uh-oh. Ako, this is my name. Oh, yeah. False life. Bops, but bops. I guess wala a n t h range weapon. Pala.、Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> And I, I, I tell m o l a r y and Joe to、uh, prepare for、uh, short, short bow attacks. Mm hmm. I said on、uh, shoot, the command is shoot when very shoots at whatever it's shooting. Whatever very shooting. Got it. You can, you can hear the stretch of the、uh, crossbow. I, I just put、uh, my axe in case they come closer. <laughs> I release, I、uh, on, aim at the.、Uh, The one, the odd crocodile with the、uh, thing on, attached、mm -hmm. to it. Are you aiming for the I, crocodile or the broodling? Huh. I aim for the broodling. 
Crossbow fire. Uh, what's that total? Math, math. 14 total. Uh, that hits. That hits. Okay. okay. That's uh, uh, 7 damage on on the, the broodling. Mm-hmm. And you have two, two attacks, right? Uh, yes. I ro- In a swift motion, okay. I reload my bow and then uh, hit for 22. Mm-hmm. That hits. Uh, f- uh, five total for mm-hmm. that one. Just enough. As two crossbow bolts shoot across. This uh, pinches the the I call this the broodling straight in the back of one of the trees in the back. I it. it just squeals as the crocodile gets alerted and like begins to kind of like saunter forward. This one is not paying any mind. He's like. The broodling died. Mm-hmm. He got pinned to a tree, like right here. Oh, okay. The you told the what do I call this Mo and Joe and Larry to do what do I call to this shoot, to shoot the shoot? broodling, uh, shoot mm-hmm. whatever very shooting at. Yeah, so they too. they probably all shot the brooding as well as it kept getting pumped. <laughs> penetrated on the tree <laughs> oh. as the crocodile begins to suffer forward. Uh, Kai uh, will do it. Whoops. If he's, within, if he's within reach, I will just bonk. Uh, yeah. So you would have uh, the first swing. Uh, item. Use item. Does it look groggy or anything? It looks just kind of like there's like a slow glaze around its eyes. Wait. Yeah, it hits. I just like mm-hmm. katonk <laughs> with my axe. <laughs> uh, and then do you have two attacks or just one? I have just one. Mm-hmm. Level four. And Borsh, do you do anything? Uh, I cast fireball. Yo. Mm-hmm. Right. Nope. Oh, it's not. Fuck it me. It fizzles away as a mm-hmm. you miss it, and it actually sinks um, in the in the swamp as the crocodile bites uh, attempts to bite Kai for twenty one to hit. I hit. Uh huh. And you are grappled, you take five damage. Is it auto grapple? Uh it, if it's successful, yeah, you are grappled as he bites on your leg. Okay. Okay, no, okay. Ah, Minus five. Oh, out of five. Oh. Who's the closest? Yep. <laughs> Doctor Dude says, nasty, nasty. But look, and then he points, uh, the boils on its back are starting to like pop and like just ooze to the water. Mm. I'm, I'm careful that the boils don't <laughs> spray on me. Um, very, it's your turn. Can I do my survive? Oh wait, nature check. Well, well I have advantage. Um, can I do a nature check on? Oh wait, uh, never mind. I'll just uh, shoot him with the bow again. Mm-hmm. It's like pretty injured. Yeah, oh, that's that... it. Yeah, seventeen. To seventeen. Mm-hmm. I'll just uh, roll damage. That's a seven. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's it's on that door. Eighteen, and then I aim for the eye again. <laughs> <laughs> Seven. Two, two bolts in the eye decapit uh pits it on the water as it releases um Kai as it lies dead. Works every time. <laughs> I, I shove blow it. it. <laughs> I shove Go it on. away just in case 
the boils do something. He just pops to the bent over here. Uh, and all the boils starting to pop, and he's just losing them. Boils pop. And then I think about um, Garot and Garot in the, the store. I'm like, oh, I wonder how that, that guy is doing. Do we notice the other crocodile? Uh, it looks like he went over in this direction. To the and the the thing is dead, right? Yeah, the thing is dead. It's still pinned to the wall. But to the tree, sorry. We motion I motion to the doctor. Hey. Ah oh, yes, 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 yes. Finally, finally a chance to examine this. Mm, and, and then he just like you know he just looks no it's like you can tell like it's um it's like a spindly creature it's about you know just like an arm's length not an arm's yeah an arm's like a forearm so as big as one of your forearms as wide so it's like this big uh, with like you know uh, incisors and on the side uh, it has no eyes it has no but it has like a sharp tentacle like. And like a scorpion like stainer. Mm -hmm. You don't see anything peculiar on this side, very bad. Mo, Larry, and Joe. Set the perimeter, please. Oh, oh man. Can you can you swap me with another guy? <laughs> uh, you, you have dark vision too, right? You have dark vision. An update to my token. I have dark vision. Uh, it should be here, but it's not written. Okay, uh, so maybe not. No, I don't have. Tapas yung check have... na ni Veri. Yung uh, well, can I check uh, niya sa right? Right. right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, you don't notice or... anything. <laughs> this, th your your pet disturbs me. Can, <laughs> can you swap me with another one? I oh, am... you, you don't like Mo? All right, all right. I'm just bothered with the two-headed thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, is it two-headed? Oh man, two-headed. Uh, I don't know if which one is looking at me, so I prefer the one with one head. There you go. Um, you send ants? you send Larry to the to the west side. The yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, like guard. he's guarding that side. Okay, you don't notice any like other movements on this side. This one looks like still as well. Oof! And I said nothing, nothing, nothing there. Very. Nothing here. Ooh. Can I'm not, uh, not good with nature. All right, I'm done with uh, examining this creature. It looks like you just have to be careful. It looks like it's the biggest. Uh, its biggest weapon looks like it's stinger, and from the looks of it, it doesn't rely on vision due to its lack of eyes, but probably something else. Perhaps the vibrations in the ground or something or in the water. But just be careful. But I do believe the layer should still be deeper. And we are just at the cusp of the entrance. I I tell the I, I tell them I tell Kai and Mary which direction. Mm. Uh the, the crocodile went this way. I don't know if we should pursue. Uh, mm, but the other crocodile didn't have uh, this guy um, latched on it, this, didn't it? Oh yeah, it was just alone. It was a clean one. However, it, that uh, this guy was a uh, uh, this thing was uh, latched onto the crocodile from this side. Mm, anyway, let's check your corner first. Can you stay? F uh, do you think this this guy can watch for us, Borsh? And then I knock my crossbow on Joe's head. <laughs> oh, like like watch, like set up a perimeter. That's what he's doing. Ah, all right. Uh, you and... know, are you oh, yeah. are you are you, lo are you peeking over, Kai? I'm I'm trying to peek. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like there's like a small kind of like a pond area. The water goes a little bit deeper. You can see just like a bunch of 
crocodiles. No visible boils on them. Looks like they're the residents of this here swamp. Um, and it looks like just a dead head. Mm, I tell them. Looks like it's just a dead end over here with some normal crocodiles. Mm. It looks like we, you want to head to the e uh, using my keen keen sense. Keen eye. Keen eye. Do I notice uh, where something's a little more uh, diseasy or kind of? Which one? The the crocodiles. Uh huh. Um, they look all normal com com compared. Looks like they're. There's no sign of disease on them. Oh, okay. Might be an Weird. All right. Uh, looks like we're heading east then. Okay. You, st you stick with me, doctor. Oh, fine, fine. Thank you for the. And then I, I <laughs> grab onto him by the, uh, um, what do you call that? The collar. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, no, no rough housing, please. Uh, no, you're here where I see you. Okay. <sighs> and then I'm walking him forward like a shield. <laughs> <laughs> I do not appreciate being used as a shield. You do have other like minions you can send for the uh, uh, No need for the rough housing. No need for that. Very, I agree. I agree. We have, uh, we have our boys here. You know? Very well, mm -hmm. and I I, I tell Kai like every is everything all clear over there. I nod yes 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 mm -hmm. we can proceed over there. Mm -hmm. And then no, do I notice anything funny? Like it doesn't move at mm -hmm. all, right? No, it's 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 completely dead. Yeah. I said Larry, Larry lead the way, or Mo lead the way. Apparently, Very doesn't like you so much. Can I get one of the stingers? Um, yeah, if you want, you can, um, just do a quick survival check. Uh, you guys just move forward. You guys move forward. Mm -hmm. Looks like a regular patch of the swap. It's the water still not deep. Uh, you're able to get one stinger. It only has one. Yeah, it's like, hmm, might need this. <laughs> okay. Can we proceed then? Yeah, you can just go proceed. You can just like move your tokens closer. Um, yeah, as you proceed, you go deeper in the forest. Um, nothing out of the ordinary. You know, the doctor goes on ahead looking like. Like, there's a man here. Looks like the path seems pretty straightforward. However, the thicket is getting, uh, the underbrush is getting thicker. So we, uh, this will be our only entrance and exit, I guess. As the, you know, the trees are getting thicker. It's just, there's no way to like cut across is what he's trying to say. Um, the water is starting to get a little bit deeper. It was just up at your knee high level. Um, now it's looking a little bit uh, close to your thigh. Uh, just be careful. You know, stick to the, you know, to the brush parts. Whatever this be, the land parts of the swamp. I don't. I whisper to Borsh. I don't like this. He seems either. to get along fine for a uh, uh, scholarly person. If you guys want to do an insight on the loots, mm -hmm. I will. Uh... I'll give it a try. Oh, neat. Uh, not 20. Not 20. He's honestly just very curious. You know, there doesn't seem like he's trying to hide anything. Mm -hmm. He's just gen genuinely curious and like, 
you know, kind of perplexed about the situation and very interested in, you know, the, the creatures that you're encountering. Um, doesn't seem like he's hiding any ill will towards you guys. He's, there's, you notice a little bit of concern as he, you remember, he was talking about his yes, sister yes. killed for it. Yes. Oh, I, I, uh, I tell. Concern about what? His yeah. assistant, Guilford. Guilford. Yeah, oh, yeah, assistant. And he says, as he points and you know, around the corner, he says, "Is that Guilford?" Um, as you, as he points to this like humanoid, small humanoid creature. Um, it's like a looks like a swamp kind of creature. Um, oh, it's not him. Never mind. Um, but you notice there's also a brutling like hovering on the perched on the shoulder of this swally bog. Um, I forgot to mention, he says, my assistant is a swally bog. He's like a you know a regular inhabitant of this this um uh, this swamp area. Uh, but you will recognize him as he is wearing a white lab coat. Oh. Hmm. But Dr. Deluts, don't go rushing in. Ah, uh, yes, forgive me. Anything. My eagerness is starting to get the best of me. What is? Um, any race no? Swally Bob. Swally. It's like uh, the swamp people. Oh, I don't think you can use that. Say that. No, just kidding. D and D. Um, and then you, they, you guys are receiving. Looks like they're, you know, they're they're watching this area over here. They haven't noticed you yet. Probably, if you come any closer, they'll mm -hmm. probably start. It, to notice what you. are we seeing? What the swally bog? What I can, I can it's describe. kind of like a it's like a Humanoid? like a halfling size probably halfling size. just like a kind of like a homunculus I guess. Like there's one yellow eye in the middle, mm -hmm. uh, very like short arms, spindly legs. Um, wow. I'm trying to remember if it has a tail. Um, with like fins and gills. Um. Kind of like mer, kind of like um, shok, parang shoko yeah, I guess. Ah, kind of okay. like small and just one eye. Uh, yeah. Right, thank you. I I tell very oh, it's got one of those things on him again. Yeah, it has the visible boils as well. Mm. And then I, I I tell them like, uh, should we introduce ourselves or? Uh... It doesn't seem like it's too friendly. So Wally Bogs are, uh, they're like uh, shy creatures innately, and they um, they like to keep to themselves, and they're not very keen on uh, trespassers. I uh, tell the, the skeletons, would you be able to uh, shoot that thing off it? No, I said. With pleasure. Oh, wait, go on. No, no, go ahead. I mean, whoever you can. Are, the, are your skeletons readying their arrows again? Uh, uh huh. On the broodlings? Yeah, on the broodling. Doesn't seem very funny. <laughs> yeah, 60 feet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean. Let's see how I want to see how good they are. Shoots first. Mm -hmm. oh, long, huh? oh, short, but... That hits, yeah. 23? Yeah. Two damage. Five. Oof. Oh, oh nice. Uh, he hit it better. <laughs> Go, Larry. I was. Uh, uh, I grew up with disappointment. Um. Do you um who do you hit with your second attack? Uh, as um that that critical hit from Larry is extinguishes this brooding and capsizes it to the tree here as it shrieks. Uh, the swally bug alerted looks in your direction, kind of like perplexed. 
does it understand us? I look at it. It's, it speaks common. Like it, they're they're not the most intelligent creatures, but they're like. I I wave I wave to the Swally bug to see if he uh, he started like touching his head and like he's falls he falls to his as soon as the brood like kind of like dissipates uh, and he's kind of like looking confused. I said, "Whoa there, you okay, my man?" <clears throat> and he's kind of like waking up. Well, what happened? I feel like like I'm in the dream or something I'm just kind of like then uh can i can i go rushing to him uh yeah you can mm -hmm. said well that thing then i point at the broodling well seems like it's attaching itself to things and making them act all kinds of mm -hmm. odd uh, something's trying to talk to my mind. It's confusing. Are but, you from here? Do you live here? Uh, yeah, I live here. Oh. But these things just started appearing recently. Kind of like everything's been just sort of a dream, you know. And like as you noticed the 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 pustules start popping and as soon as the last like pustule dissipated it's kind of like he's starting to get like a clearer head he's like starting to make more sense starting to talk to you guys more clearly um and then he's just like sitting down and a couple of my friends are still inside uh, but it's it alarmed me I approach him quickly and then I uh halfling size, right? Uh-huh. I lift him up and then I uh third inspected him around like a uh -huh. teddy bear. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let me go. Let's hold you're still. Gonna make me, you're gonna hold make still. Me. And, and then, then I have a look. He starts vomiting. He's like getting Oh He's crap. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I, I point him outward. <laughs> And then he's, he falls unconscious. Oh, oh, great! Um, but but you, I... you don't notice any more pustules, like all of the pustules. Is he dead? Disappeared. Or... No, he just like fell unconscious. I mean, you can wake him up there. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, I, you know, he's I, just. I, I, I panic. Days. I panic, and then I I dunk him in the water a few <laughs> times. Wake up. <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> oh, you're all right. Uh, I'm just trying to make sure. Mm -hmm. And then I drop him with a shock in my face. What's wrong with you people? Oh. <laughs> oh, we're just checking if you're all right. All right. <laughs> Doctor. Oh, no. Doctor. Doctor. Yes. Um, Mm -hmm. Have a look at this, my, mm -hmm. our, our fellow over here. I am no medical professional, but I'll see what I can do. <laughs> and he says, good sir, good sir. Have you seen uh, a fellow of your stature with the same appearance? I'm not judging. Just, that's how he is. But he does wear a white coat. So he says, oh, yes, he's, he's still inside with all the others. A lot of... Um, a lot of stuff going on there now that I remember. I don't really like what's going on. Uh, you can get one. Uh, do another survival check. Oh, no, no, sorry. It. I'm yeah. going to carve it and uh, make make it look like um, uh, I'm going to put this back. Okay. Uh, I have a theory. Uh, sorry, out of character. So I have a theory that um, I want to test out. If that's all right with you, doctor. Uh, proceed, yes. I slap this back. I slap the broodling back on uh, on 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 uh, <laughs> the swally bug, <laughs> and then I wrap it. But it's dead, so I cl I cleaned it. Yeah, I, yeah. I carved it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A, a good few minutes in the water. Yes, like, this one. Tr just trust me on this. 
I, okay. if you can help me with this one because it's my job and uh you know i i also study what i hunt and i tie this on his back oh, uh, i try to make it as discreet as possible um i want to know if even with these things latched on you would they still be able to um talk like a normal like who they were or you know can they can they respond to you i don't feel anything now like it's it feels dead there's no like re- dreamy fog that i don't feel like i'm dreaming or something nobody i don't feel like some voice is talking to me that's feels... all right all right done. before before we all go right. through with this mm-hmm. how did you remember this starting how did you remember when it get it got you all I remember is like me and my friends and everybody's living in the swamp. Just one day, we all just started disappearing one after the other. People just started trying venturing off. They're saying they're having weird dreams. And then eventually, you know, people just disappeared. And then you wake up, everybody's gone then everything's starting to feel hazy i feel like i'm in some sort of dream i feel like we did notice some of these things and he points to or the one that are on his back like starting to appear recently we didn't pay it any mind but then we didn't right. like, whenever a few of us would disappear it it's not just us, even the animals. You see that you didn't notice any of the animals in the swamp, did you? I mean, most of mm. them. I look at them. I look at my, my colleagues. Right. Uh, I grab one to... What was your name again? Uh, Billy. All right, Billy. Doc, I hand him over to Dr. Dulutz. Hold him for me. And then I uh, huddle with... Um, with, with uh, Kai and uh, Borsh. And they're just talking. Like, oh, can you get this out of my body? It's like so disgusting. Like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Like, I'm trying to like do something. Right. And then I, uh, yeah. It, so it's just us, but can they hear us? Yeah. I, whis- I try yeah, to whisper. Yeah. I try to whisper. Right. Right. Uh, uh, what, what, where's your heads at, Barry? Um, I don't mean to alarm anyone. But you remember the boils on the uh, Ugly Five last night? Certainly. Right, right, right. And you remember um, it disappearing when we killed those things, right? Mm Mm-hmm. Right, right. So I want to know if they could, if, you know, they can... Uh, uh, how would do you put this? Uh, wait, wait, wait. So they came here in this. Uh, they came from this place okay. on their last assignment, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. Right. So I'm thinking, what if those guys have these uh creatures on them? They probably do. Don't right. they have? Don't they have one in the cage? Do do we notice that the one in the cage is the same one as this? You guys never checked. It oh. was covered. Oh, you guys never checked. Gotcha. Oh. I mean, but it looks like. <laughs> Crud. It, 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 but it looks like it's attached to them, so they might. They might. They might. Oh, was it? Head. Was everything attached? Like, no, yeah, this one was just perching. It doesn't look like there was like a you know the tendrils, the hook. It doesn't oh, look oh, like it was oh. connected to anything, but it was like oh. nearby. Hmm. So hmm. looks like it wasn't. I mean, b- basing it off there, you're not sure whether the physical contact is necessary. Oh, all right, all right. I'm. I my apologies. Uh, hmm. does, so does what it... if they walk among us? They're like this, this is disturbing. Uh, yeah. It can be then. I look at the thing behind uh, Billy. 
uh, did Doctor take it away? Uh, it's still there. Like they're still kind of like he's trying to calm him down. The other one's kind of like freaking out. I I wonder. Hmm. Then I is it gelatinous? What is it? Leathery? Which one? The the broodling? Uh huh. It's like leathery. It's not like gooey. It's not like a goose. It's like um, I don't know, Michelle. Kind of like a crab. It's more like a crab, you know. Can I put it on top of one of my skeletons as a hood? Um, it's not big enough. Oh, okay. Um, oh. It could, yeah. I guess it could fit one of, not Larry, not Mo, but Larry <laughs> or Joe. Is it a skull? I mean, is it like? It could more? fit a skull, yeah. Like it's just parang, parang sombrero, I guess. It's kind of like a hat. A do rag. <laughs> I, I I put it on Larry. Hey, that that was your kill. Here you go. Then I wear, oh. he wears it as a hat. Oh. Yeah. yeah, Larry's wearing a brutally hat. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put it on journal. Has brutally hat. So he, <clears throat> Doctor Deluxe approaches you. So, what do you guys want to do? The Billy is getting very concerned. He says he's he might leave soon. He might just go hide somewhere. Right. I think we should be careful of uh, what we were gonna return with. I, I think uh, my our our very here has a very good point. Very good point. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you did there. Mm-hmm. Um, we should be we should check ourselves if any of us have these things attached or nearby. We might not be thinking the same way. Then I put that Larry. Do you feel any different, Larry? And he just rattles on, like, yeah. Is that a yes or a no? I aim at it. <laughs> Find conversation, these undead. Mm-hmm. You guys are much better, definitely. All right. Mm-hmm. Uh, I still aim at them as they walk by. They're, ah, uh, uh, this is grieving me the creeps. You make a perception check, uh, Kai, as you're coming closer to the clearing. I carry on. Nice. Um, you see, it's starting. To, the path is starting to open up. Looks like the the dome of the like whole forest area, swamp area, is also getting a lot higher. And it looks like you're approaching like the like the apex of the the layer where a lot of. But it's getting it's getting bigger. But it, this is like if it it's like a dome. This is like the highest part, and if um, it's a little bit getting, it's getting a little bit darker. You can only see from like the puddles here. Um, you feel the the water starting to get real deep, like it's starting to get to waste area, and like the closer you go, the deeper you go. Looks might like be more uh, more water. It it could be uh, difficult terrain if you don't. Stand on like the the back areas. I just motioned. Be careful! It's getting deeper and wetter. I know. And I think we're going to the main area now. And I motioned them forward. Skeletons go. Uh, uh, I would say, well, whoa, whoa, whoa! I'm the only one who could say that. Skeletons go. <laughs> we have a look. See if it's deep. Um, your perception check to Kai, you notice there's some rustling like on the trees around this area and this area. So like your your immediate south, like on the other side. There's some rustling. Like there's... Be careful on those areas. There and there. Okay. Here, here, here. Got it. Can I cast Alter Self, Aquatic Adaptation? Uh, what does that do? You can click. So I think. Uh, you adapt the body and aquatic environment, sprouting gills and going webbing between your fingers. You can breathe underwater and gain the swimming speed. Oh, nice. So is that concentration or is that that's just... Uh, it's concentration. It's concentration. Yeah, you can cast it. So this will help you... This will make you uh, unimpeded with your movement here. 
as you proceed closer. The rain here. Yeah, like as like the water, the water. That's what he's saying. And as you guys are looking, he's saying, "Wait, Doctor Dulut's inches closer." So is that, is that? And then he points toward, "Oh, that's Gilforth." Um, he's not physically wearing any white because I can't edit him, but this is uh, looks like Gilforth. <laughs> that's the again, again, that, that's that's what the Bolly uh, Swaliwag looks like. Swaliwag looks okay. Mm -hmm. The shield, mud shield. And then I asked Doctor Do mm -hmm. a whisper to Doctor Do how do you you can recognize him? Yeah, he's wearing he's he's wearing his lab coat. Oh oh he's got a lab yeah, coat. Yeah, he's okay, like, oh, right. Nicola, Nicola <laughs> I see, I see. <laughs> um so yeah, and then you notice on the sides there's like different animals. You see a crocodile again with the boils. You see a big constrictor constrictor snake as well. Um so far, it's only Gil, at least from this angle, it's only Gilforth that you see. That's like one of the Swaliwogs that are here. And then Kai, you can see this one, right? You can, this one? And uh, over here, from your corner, you can see there's like an amalgamation of like, like different. Like a lot of like the these creatures are like huddling in one central area, like deep in the layer. Ah, sorry, nasa wall ka at tay. Oops, my bad. There we go. Unmute myself. Yeah. I. <laughs> there seems to be a centralized location where these creatures are. Huddling or coming from? Are kind of, they're kind of like huddled together in like one uh, end. Like, they they're seem like, to be like patong -patong. huddling yeah. close prime. to there. Prime, prime area for <laughs> marble. <laughs> what? The, they, oh. <laughs> they're like a animal centipede or something? Uh, human centipede. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Basically, they're all huddling. As uh, you all approach closer, uh, Everybody make stealth checks. Oh, oh, you can ignore the skeletons. Just, just you three. Oh, Doc Doctor, the my trying. one rolls. Ah, uh, no, I'm just kidding. Ah, thirty, twenty. Oh my goodness! <laughs> it's cold. Six. As the slashing of the water, you bring attention to. The crocodile and the snakes as they start start to notice you. I, I point at this. What the fuck is that? Oh, how big is the snake? That might be the the doctor Dulit says that might be the nest of the brood mother. But oh, Gilforth is right there. <laughs> yes, the the one. I need her sample. Oh. But Kilforth, Kilforth is trying to, he's trying to like attempt to like call him out. I, I slapped the doctor. Oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I haven't seen my assistant in a while. It's just Kilforth. He's trying we to have to whisper. be careful with this one. Get behind doctor. And I, I said, uh, does it matter if the thing is burnt? No, it's fine. Uh, it should be. It should be okay, but uh, it seems like it's. It's still starting, to, trying to wake up from the looks of it. Perhaps the fearsome five were correct in saying, saying that they disposed of it, but they must have um, they must have left some of it still intact. Hey, where's my fireballs go? Um. Everybody roll initiative. Mm -hmm. Let's start the counter. Where's my initiative? Good golly. Crap. Armor in a swamp, not a good combination. 
I should start. Oh, only being 14. Sorry. One lang, one lang talaga siya. One, yeah. Natural one. Who else? Sorry, sorry. Um, Combat si Borsh, Combat si Kai, Tanara si Ferry. Ilan si Ferry? 14, sorry. Yep. 14. Okay. As we begin combat, um, who's first? Very, oh, you're oh, first. I motion to them. Uh, I tell them, be careful. I heard movement in these marked corners. Mm -hmm. uh, I shall scout out first. Is yes, stealthily. You notice, uh, I am um, like a bit uh, draw back my sleeves and my um, my hood, and then I start to lay down uh, a bit and change color. So I'm still blended in. Uh, wait, how do I move here? Do I see anything on this corner? You notice a swally bug in. On perch on its shoulder of the ripley. And then you notice as well from this angle, you notice. Sorry about this. Asa pala si Billy. So si, uh, Billy just was walking away. He, he told me he was fine. Okay, I can see better. I guess eh. this I, must uh... be Billy's friends. <laughs> okay. Uh, pinailaw ko siya na si Gilford tayo. Eh. This is Gilford. So, you know. Oh, neat, neat. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, okay, go ahead. Then I shall, um... Uh, roll... Uh, wait. Uh, I think I'll save on my crossbow and shoot two Eldritch Blast. Um, nice. At uh, the Brutal... Mm -hmm. This one, I uh, holster my uh, my mm -hmm. my crossbow, and then I aim with my uh, two fingers. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, my, with my hand, mm -hmm. I roll up. Fourteen. Fourteen. Fourteen hits. Just hits. fourteen hits. Yeah. Make makes it on the okay. Nine. Now roll your yeah. Go. Uh, go. Yep. It's damaged. It's like nearly dead. Oh, you mean that uh, that broodling uh -huh. is still alive? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Based from uh, the damage you were putting earlier, it's about twelve HP each. Uh, all right, I. Oh, okay, okay, thanks. Uh, twenty. You're gonna. Yep. It's you obliterate this mm, okay. as you uh, describe your eldritch energy. By the way, this is the is this the first time you've used it? Uh, right? yeah, yeah. I'll yeah, revise yeah, so, it because um. Yeah, yeah. Uh, good thing with. My uh, aura, uh, it's the same color as the, the aura that's uh, swirling right now because um, mm -hmm. I uh, draw energy from my uh, celestial pack, uh, pack with the celestial. Mm -hmm. And then I right. shoot uh, like a beam. Mm -hmm. pew, pew. Mm -hmm. That's it. And it just splatters across. Uh, this Wallywog is kind of like shaken as the brooding that's on top of it is kind of like, oh, what? What's happening? Uh, do you attempt to move further? Mm, I am uh, done. I'm done. Yeah. I'll hold. Um, uh, this is like a, I'm on dry land, right? Uh huh. Just dry land. So anything that's kind of like, and anything five within five feet of the thing, is still not uh, difficult terrain. Because even if it's at waist height, sorry, thigh height, it's still okay. Ah, okay. No, it's right. like the, so, these deeper parts, Pomato. You might in between. Yeah, that's the hard part. That's the hard part. Uh, yeah. but, uh, the this, only one, this, yeah. The only one without uh, difficulty is Borsh because of Oh, his... true, true. He came prepared. <laughs> tell him, oh, attacks. I tell, I tell the skeletons to attack the Neat. broodlings. Um, do they move before or after you? Uh. Or whatever is it? Whatever. I'm just putting them yeah. after you. I'm yeah, just put them after. Oh, okay, okay, so I'm gonna. Yeah, I act first. Yeah. Okay. You see, there's there's also another swallowball here. 
Mm -hmm. So I, I cast, uh, I tell the skeletons to shoot the broodlings off uh -huh. whatever creatures. That's their command. Mm -hmm. And um, then, and I and I cast the uh, firebolt. To which one? If if I can, this this, this one. one. Yep. Um, it's yeah. The angles. You you should be able to still see it. Oh my gosh, Kai, you're not the last one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. You hit it. 2d10. So, napatay ni Jin isang brood. Yep. yep. Uh, Do we know if the, this is being mm. aggressive? He's starting to kind of like getting dazed. Like he's, he's, he fell on his knees. Same thing, this, this brooding erupts in flames as from your fireball as he's decimated from your arcane energy. Um, how do you cast your spell and like how do you describe your fireball? Sorry, I uh, forgot. Those to... are my cantrips. I uh, I slam my fist, then they fire my spark of fire. Mm -hmm. Then uh, with balls of fire, I just like sling it, like, like throw it like. There spells like fire. slinging fires. Uh -huh. This erupts in flames. However, it's like a drizzling rain. Uh, and it's not enough to like cause fire to these surroundings. Same thing, this Wallybog kind of like falls to his knees and kind of like this. Cool. Uh, then I, I tell them shoot shoot the shoot the broodlings off. The small creatures mm -hmm. off. So then I point uh, at Larry, those looking ones. Um <laughs> Do you want to move? You do have full. You're the only one with full movement. Uh, no, I'm I'm okay right now. Okay. I'm okay behind. Uh -huh. We're gonna have a firing right. line. Uh, Larry, it's Larry and like all the boys' his turns. Okay. Who do you want to shoot? You see, like there's uh, a snake here, a crocodile here. This one, this one. Uh huh. Uh -huh. The nearest, so yeah. going outwards. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. uh, okay. Sorry, emptying inventories now. Uh, and then this is Larry. This is Larry. Mm -hmm. Oh no, shit! Yes. Nice. Um, <laughs> yeah, don't... Oh my Larry, god, this is Larry. Hail, <laughs> hail, Larry, the machine. Larry. The machine oh my god. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Larry obliterates one second. Sorry, Oops. Larry obliterates this. That shoots well for a oh thing with god. no eyes. <laughs> <laughs> um, Larry was this an esteemed archer in his heyday. <laughs> <laughs> when in, in his lifetime. <laughs> God damn. Well, then Puts me see. to shame. I know. Skelly Joe. <laughs> Don't tell me. Oh, uh, yeah. it misses. Uh, it misses. misses. Okay. Then Mo. Do you want them to move after this? No, they stay. They stay where they are. Oh, shit. Yeah. Good. So just roll for damage for this one. Uh, three uh, damage. It's barely injured, but it's enough to like mark its attention. Mm -hmm. um, so they, they just stay there? Yeah, they stay there. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Kai, do you have... I'll give you like five to ten feet of like where do you want to be like in this area. If you want to move, want me to move you. Oh, it says it's not my turn. I can't move. No, no, no I'm just saying like para in, oh. when you started this, because like Para naging firing squad, kasi like over okay. here, like for like for as forward as much, kasi lao movement eh. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. All right, uh, and that's that's their turn. You said you don't want them to move. Yeah, no, they stay. Yeah. Should make um, them forward. So, so it's their turn. Um, so the bollywogs, bollywogs <laughs> over here, they're kind of like they're shaking and saying, like, "Oh." What's happening? They kind of like use their movement to kind of like stand up. It's like, huh? What's and then like what's happening? And then like they kind of like approach you guys. Like, what are the these way... things? The way behind is clear. Run away. <laughs> uh, uh, and they're kind of like contemplating on what to do. They're just staying around for now. Um this crocodile. Um, the brooding left, but he still has pustules on him, so he's gonna come over here. Um, it looks like it's falling off, like probably by the next turn it'll start to make sense, but uh, it attempts to bite very. 
uh, not the one that doesn't hit as he misses and like almost chomps this volleyball on this uh, creature. It doesn't have speed. Walk over. They slither around um, and attempt to bite. Uh, sorry, constrict. Uh, it misses. It's your armor's too thick. It doesn't uh, perch. Uh, the broodling comes over. It starts to. It attempts to sting you. Uh, make a constitution saving throw. Oh, sorry. Wait, let me hit you first. No, 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 not yet. Not yet. It's starting to attempt. Oh, never mind. Uh, you take Six. Um, seven damage and then make a constitution saving throw this brute day constitution um walks over here these ones they let's use the dash action oops sorry nine um, that you, so you save no additional, uh, you kind of like resist the poison that it's starting to. Um, this one. And do I save but 12 yung also that eat? 12 na, 12 na, uh, oh wait, wait, 9 pala, oh wait, okay, wait, um. Yeah, 6 plus 9, sorry. Oh, yeah. Signal, yeah, 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 6 plus 9. Disadvantage on wisdom saving throws. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the this building purchase on this crocodile right here. And then these wally rogues. Just moving them. Uh, you see, there's an extra. You see, Gilforth slowly making his way to the hub to the huddle of creatures. Oh no! Here. Save the <laughs> save the stupid Not one. Walking. <laughs> Wrong way, Guildford. Fort Guildford, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Everything's kind of everybody. Everything's kind of like huddling together. That's like their action. Uh, and that's their turn. This the this kind of creature is kind of like just starting to like kind of like meld together. Like you see, there's like other creatures coming here, slithering, kind of like joining it and it's starting to get bigger. Uh, Kai, it's your turn. Um, hindi updated yung spell list ko. Uh -huh. But I touch myself. I, I touch my amulet. It shines with okay. a blue light. And then I cast Shield of Fate on me. Uh -huh. So you have extra two? Is it two AC? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Good. And then I swing on this uh, broodling that's right next to me. This one, yep. Oh, very. It's gonna be your turn after. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Maybe plus. Ano ba ba? Tama ba? No, wala. I don't think. Ah. Yeah. Uh, four plus two. I think that's it. Yeah. It's starting to get almost. It's actually on that door. Uh. Yeah. That's all I can do. Cause. Mm -hmm. Or can I move moving. closer? Or no, it's it's on top of it, so it's no attack of opportunity. If you want I just to move closer to the mm -hmm. the others. Mm -hmm. As that happens, uh, Doctor, what do you call this? Doctor Dulu says, "Go forth! No, stop! Come back here! Come back here!" As uh, as we repeat, the next round of combat. So, one second. So, ko oh, uh, yeah, 51, yeah. Uh, so there's a, the lair begins to move as the water starts to swirl. Everybody that's not, like just, that's that are in the water. Everybody that's not on ground or within five feet of a ground has to make a DC strength of 13. Within five feet, no, 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 no. I'm okay, right? right? I feel. Eight. Uh, ten. 
Um, so you are not prone. Prone. As the shaking of the water drags you deeper by twenty feet. Um, same thing, Doctor Dulutz is dragged twenty feet. Oh shit! You dumb fucks. Oh my gosh. Um, I would say Joe and Mo have a reaction if they want to catch him before he slides over. Oh, uh, can they? Um, yeah, just make a dexterity check for either of them. DC 15? Okay. Either of them. Either or both? Either, either, either of them. Oh, no. Then that's a 7. That's okay. Is a, is a pa? Oh, Try okay. another one. Maybe yeah, the yeah. other can yeah. save him. <laughs> the sharpshooter. The yeah. sharpshooter. <laughs> <laughs> they slip away even they, uh, as they right. attempt. Yes, yes. Shut up! Me. Yeah. <laughs> That's very it's your turn. Oh great. Um assessing my situation, I only see two broodlings and three creatures. So one is not uh, So it's the crocodile, it's the crocodile that was it. Uh, the okay, other okay. this other broodling was with us. A With a snake. Okay, all right. <clears throat> okay. Ah, desperate times. I uh, activate my, as a bonus action, I take, uh, I activate my crimson right. I raise my uh, fist and veins start to come out. And slowly, I imbue my crossbow mm -hmm. with 1d6 extra damage, but I need to roll. I need to pay a price. Okay, two damage. Mm -hmm. So you take two damage. Yeah. Uh, so I shoot uh, the swally bug first. This one. This one. Okay, so. This one. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, with my crossbow at hand. <laughs> what? Nice. Uh, Twenty-five. Is that, yes. Is that a crit? Uh, no, sorry. Uh, that's. Oh, uh, oh wait. No, 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 that's not, that's oh, not, dirty yeah. 25 yet. Uh, okay, that's 5 mm -hmm. plus... Is it plus 2? Uh, oh wait, sorry, 8, and yung, then... Yung damage mo sa sarili mo? Oh, which one? Yung 2 na damage mo sa sarili mo, idinadagdag mo yun sa hit, sa hit damage? Then, oh, no, no, I, uh, I have a different role for each attack now, until oh, nice, I nice. do a short rest, so... Uh, Crimson Rite has uh, like 1d6 extra. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, so uh, 8 plus 3, 11 yeah. <laughs> on that first yeah, strike. Right. Uh, mm -hmm. Boom. It's almost uh, yeah, yeah. Second, that's the one. <laughs> uh, 8. Ah, uh, no, crit. Uh, so fail, fail. Sorry. Yeah. That's it. As you're Four definitely three. aiming not to hit the Bullywog, you're having a difficult time hitting the Ruthing. Uh, almost die. Um, I really do you want to move? Uh, crocodile, snake. Sorry, hindi yan sanctuary. Inano, para mawala, mawala lang yung spell slot ko. Okay. I try to uh -huh. move to Dr. Dulutz. They at 15 feet. Mm -hmm. And then I, uh, so I have no more action. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I forgot. I have no more action. That's it. This one is going to attempt to bite you. I try to touch him. Find him. That's it. Uh, it misses you. Okay. Uh, you find them. You grab hold of them, but you're not able to pull them up. Okay. Um, it. Borsh, it's your turn. Fireball! <laughs> <laughs> Let it rain! 8d6. Mm -hmm. oh, mm -hmm. Dexterity saving, right? Uh -huh. Dexterity saving. My goodness. Um... If you're prone, does it matter? No. Yeah, because you're underwater. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm, that's actually... I would use a straight roll. I, guess I would say disadvantage because you're prone. Mm -hmm. It shouldn't be Rain. disadvantage. Well, I'm Rain, yeah. wearing on it. Oh, no. Alright. Okay. I was just gonna say, don't stick your head out of the water. Hey, oh, hey. damn. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the dice Can job. I... <laughs> Can I oh, dive underwater while yeah, <laughs> is to, that why uh, 
Yeah, to, to, you 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 notice uh Borsh casting a spell, you lock eyes with him. Uh, you know what he's trying to do. You you're able to go underneath and avoid any damage. Uh, so let me just roll saves, let me just do it here. I, I grab my orb fail. point. The of flame. Boom. Explosion. <laughs> uh, only three of them will succeed. Uh, but all all of them take 29 damage. Uh-huh. And half they're all, damage. Um, they're all lying in cinders. Uh, describe how you cast your flame and how you destroy it. I, I I look at the uh, Kai and I was like, get down. Then I grab my orb on hand. I just point the direction. And, then you know and, I, and I yell Gosh. out loud, fire ball. <laughs> so massive ball of fire explodes uh, and decimates this area. Um, even if they save because of the amount of damage, Ito, ba, no, matay din? they just burn. Ah, uh, no, not this one. Just this one. One, two, three. How many? I, uh, I have one, Grim. two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ito, patay na tay. I have Grim Harvest kasi. Ooh. Is it? Seven. Mm-hmm. Plus. Do you get temporary HP from there? Uh-uh. Uh, equal to... Is it temporary? The way it reads, look. Once per turn, when you kill one or more creatures with a spell of level one higher, you regain. Mm-hmm. Okay, so heal uh, lang pala. Heal lang siya. Uh, okay. Probably once you progress, once you get better, maybe if we can consider temporary hit points. Mm-hmm. As you okay. blow away, a ton of steam goes through uh, from this area as it's evaporated. Uh, Larry, do you, do you want to move? Uh, can I swim? Try to look for my buddy. Yeah, mm-hmm. free, free rain here. Yep, mm-hmm. free movement. You notice Kai is there. I go out from the. <laughs> You're okay. You're okay. <laughs> Sorry about that fireball. <laughs> it's fine as as long as it took care of them. And insane, I... insane magic. Good, good. Um, uh, your minions are next. Uh, to my aid, kill the broodlings when you can. <laughs> oh, so, uh, Larry, Larry first shoots young tongue near death. I point, yeah. I point towards the fleeing. <laughs> Will uh, for um, <laughs> uh, he misses. Uh, mm-hmm. Joe. Nope. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mo. Okay. Mo finally does it. He disposes of this broodling. And they're only at half half speed. They're half speed if they go through the water. Yeah. Yeah, so, so as closest as they can, they can move them. Um, it's I, I, gonna I can't be... for some reason. Oh, no. so, uh, long turn, so. uh, you want them? Yeah, they're they're huddling closer to Doctor Deluxe. Yeah, 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 there you go. That's good. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see. Turn. Uh, they're gonna tempt. The crocodile is just gonna swim away as it regains its sanity. The brood, the boat swallywog, is going to attack the down Doctor Duluth. Um, with advantage, please pro. He's like starting to bleed underwater. Uh, Broodling, same thing. Attempts to attack the doctor. Uh, 
misses in the snake and the thing attacks very uh, and after this it's gonna be Kai next mm -hmm. so I'm just rolling these but uh, you can go ahead and uh, Stand it's up. just a, mm, a 22 hit very very you take 10 damage 10 damage and okay. you're um, um you're grappled by the snake i'll use my reaction i use i assist him up uh -huh. but he's too heavy so and oh who 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 did the damage uh the snake the snake not, not the broodling not the brutal. Uh never mind. I wanted to kill the brutal. Anyway, I'll stand up and try to attack this. I don't brutal. Yep. Mm -hmm. You I would say you well, that's flanking too, so that's fine. This volleyball is but uh, just flee. It's plus then, plus two pass, so fifteen. Yeah, that hits taking As you hear the Swallywogs action, hey Billy, long time to see what's happening. As as uh, as they're just running. Like, three 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 damage. What's coming. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. you obliterate. And do have any bonus action? Uh, um, how far is this? How far is Hexblade's curse? No, 30 feet. Uh, mm -hmm. Never mind. Um, wala na akong bonus action eh. Yeah. That's it. Um, so, during the Broodling's turn, sorry, Gilforth walks the remaining. No! Uh, and on the turn of this uh, amalgamation of creatures, it absorbs Gilforth. Well, there goes your assistant. <laughs> As we proceed to the new turn, that's it, right? That's it. I think uh, so. You see this creature begin to like take shape as it starts to congeal and infest and manifest um, itself as a swarm of like creatures. That don't look too good. I look at Doc I look at Dr. Dilutes. Did he see his assistant get in there? Um, he did not. He was still underwater. As mm -hmm. he, he uses his movement at the end of the turn to like stand up. Oh. And then he says oh, What happened? Oh I'm bleeding. Uh, and then he looks oh, where's Gilforth? Uh. Maybe you should start calling that Gilford. Oh, that's Gilford. Oh Gilford was uh and then I couldn't continue because of the snake. Uh, as you notice as the the chrysalis congeals, it starts to attract like multitudes of other creatures and it looks like everything is starting to run towards it as it's starting to absorb as much as it's try to as much as it can as we will end this session here as you contemplate on what to do next oh okay blood chrysalis okay. brood chrysalis brood chrysalis, brood chrysalis. Mm -hmm. i have the i think i have the perfect spell mm -hmm. as we will end it here boys all right oh, okay all That's right chris mm -hmm. we'll go for it whoops I didn't. Sense, sorry, I didn't sense a sense of urgency there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh. money, that was the only action. You see, the mm -hmm. papaligiran and then see mm -hmm. Kai was getting overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. Bye. I mean, I have really nothing to pull him away from that. Okay. See you all uh, in three weeks. Okay.
I think short session then a little and then but we have to that we have one week for the following session so it should be okay. Mm. All right. So, so I'm, okay tong oras na to works excellent mm-hmm. for me. All right. Mhm. Sige sige. Sige sige GG boy. Ah, okay GG. GG. Hopefully we finish this session next. I will finish this battle next. She's faced with Tyranid's Rippers. Mm-hmm. Hindi <laughs> si ko lang Legion eh, si Legion. Si Legion, yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. so, right. At Albania. Mm-hmm. Ah, right, right. Mm-hmm. Nice. Don't right, triple okay. mine. GG. 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 Bye-bye. Mm-hmm. Bye. Next time. Mm-hmm.